All right then my friends, so in this series Chris is going to teach you how to make a really nice looking responsive landing page like this and it's got a bunch of cool features like a parallax effect, a slider and also a fading effect for items as you scroll down the page. So there's loads of stuff to get your teeth into and learn about. Now I'm sure a lot of you already are familiar with Chris because he's featured on my channel a few times before but in case you're not, Chris is a really really good web dev creator from the Coding in Public channel. It's He's got loads of tutorials and project builds on there which I really think complement my own tutorials so definitely go and check it out and subscribe to his channel you will not regret it. The link to his channel is going to be down below the video. Anyway without further ado I'm going to pass you over to Chris who's going to teach you how to make this landing page from scratch. Hey there my name is Chris and I'm so glad for the chance to share this parallax landing page build with you. I love to teach web development through realistic project builds. During the course of this series, we'll use HTML, Tailwind CSS, and vanilla JavaScript to create a responsive parallax landing page from scratch. Now, if you want the complete experience, I've linked a full one hour Figma course below for my channel, Coding in Public, where I help developers grasp five crucial concepts in Figma using the language of web development, and then we design out this page from scratch. Now, whether you take the design and code path or just jump right into the series, I hope it'll help you cement key topics for website builds. A few notes here before we begin. In this series, I'll assume you have a working knowledge of both Tailwind and JavaScript. I've tried to include something for everyone, like several new Tailwind 3.1 features and some interesting UX UI challenges we'll tackle with vanilla JavaScript. For instance, we'll use the Intersection Observer API to performantly fade in text on scroll. And the slider also holds some interesting challenges. Because it continues off screen to the right, we'll have to figure out how to add a disabled attribute to the slider navigation button at just the right time, whatever the screen size and however many times it takes to click it to move it to the last image. We'll also prepare the sign up form for any endpoint with some nice user experience boosts as well. Again, I'll do my best to provide explanations about Tailwind and JavaScript where needed, but if you're unfamiliar with either topic, I'd recommend watching Sean's series on Tailwind CSS and or JavaScript before diving into this build. This series is meant to be an application of the basics rather than an introduction to Tailwind or JavaScript. One more note, if you ever get stuck during the build, I'll include a link in the description to the GitHub repository where you can find code for each lesson. Just make sure to select the branch from whatever lesson you're viewing and view or download the code for help. And finally, I'm a strong believer of coding in public together. We all code better when we code together and are kind to each other. If you have any suggested improvements, please leave a comment on the video or create an issue or pull request on the community improvements branch in GitHub. I can't wait to see how we can make this project even better together. Are you ready? In this next video, we'll set the project up. I hope you'll join me. By the way, if you want to watch this entire course now without YouTube adverts, you can do. It's all up on the NetNinja website, netninja.dev. You can buy the course for $2 to get instant access to all of it, or you can sign up to NetNinja Pro and get instant access to all of my courses without adverts, as well as premium courses not found on YouTube, including my Udemy ones. That's $9 a month, and you can get your first month half price when you use this promo code right here. So I'm going to leave this link down below in the video description for you to sign up, and I really hope you enjoy this series, and please do not forget to share, subscribe, and like the videos. That really helps a lot, and I'm going to see you in the very next lesson.